You give me some, some, some sunshine. Do, 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 do. As you can see now, I started off with half a fan, a shell, a fan, a shell. For the next room now, I'm going to do just a, just a fan and then you'll see the pattern forming on the third room.
Right. Now we set up our guidelines. We've done one row, two rows. One, two. To follow our shells going down, that's what we're going to follow going all the way down the ceiling. So we're going to do another row now with half fans and the shells. Fan, shells. And for this row now, we're going to follow not the last row, but the row above it.
Now you can see the pattern coming down. We can continue this all the way down the wall, but what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to um, change the pattern slightly on the lower half of the wall um, and just insert either shelves or fans. There's various ways to run this pattern. Uh, so it's diagonal, which I'll show you in other videos. So you can have a go at yourself at home. And then, before I go any further now, I'm just going to tidy up the edges with this um, paintbrush just to create a nice, a nice finish on the edge. Which tidies up the edges along the coating, the cornice, the ceiling line, down the edges of the wall. And just finishes it off just nice.
Any little lumps in there, take them off. Don't look nice. Right there we are. As I say now we could go all the way down the ceiling uh, with the same pattern. Um, what I might do now is change so there's a different pattern on the bottom. Right, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to change the shape of the shells so we're running down in diagonal lines. So there we meet. <laughs> This video really is just to show you the flexibility of using the combs to create um, comb patterns and what can be achieved.
have yet. As you've seen though, <laughs> the shell's coming down, he's changed directions, um, which was our intention. So we continue this for a little while and see how we get on. Just to show you the versatility of um, using comb tools for texture mate. Right. So now I'm going to follow the shelves in a different direction to where we're going already. Let's get rid of this mug a second. That's any better. Oh, that's better. Right. So now. We've come straight down the wall, we've come to straight down, and we've created a pattern, and now I'm going to turn the shells this way, down the bottom of the wall.
You know. As you can see we started the um throw off going straight down and we changed it and we changed directions then we changed directions again. As you can see, when you're using uh, using a new texturing comb, the pattern you create is rather bold. And these te texturing combs, after the, quite a few ceilings or walls, they do wear down a bit, and the comb comes out a bit thin. Um, I think it's nice to have a, a pattern bold. <laughs> 